Hello, in this session we will look at an introduction to Terraform modules. So in computer software, a module is an extension to a main program dedicated to a specific function. So we can think of this module as a specific code, a main program which does a specific action or a specific function for us. So in programming, a module is a section of code that is added in as a whole or is designed for easy reusability. So whenever we talk about uh, a module code, uh, it's mainly from a reusability purpose. So instead of uh, having a code which does a function and using it again and again and again, or rather writing that code again and again and again, we can write a common code and we can start calling that wherever we want within our application, making the code reusable. So your module is a set of separate parts that can be joined together to form a larger object. So the same concept we can apply in Terraform as well. So Terraform also uh, supports your modules where we can write one common code uh, to uh, launch your infrastructure multiple times. So we can start calling that code again and again and again whenever we want to set up that infrastructure instead of writing the code repeatedly to set up that infrastructure. So your Terraform module is a set of Terraform configuration files in a single directory. So whenever uh, we say a Terraform module, it is nothing but the configuration files that we have been working until now in a single directory. So we have the main.tf file, the backend.tf file, locals, provider, uh, variables, Terraform.tf files, all of these in a single directory, we can call that as a Terraform module. So even a simple configuration consisting of a single directory with one or more .tf files is a module. All right. So uh, in a single directory, uh, any .tf files that you have, we can call that as a module. So when you run the commands uh, directly from such a directory, it is considered the root module. All right. So until now, we have been working with different different types of .tf files within a single directory. We can call that as a Terraform module and whenever we run the Terraform commands directly from that directory, we call that as your root module. Now your Terraform module is a collection of standard configuration files in a dedicated directory. So like I said, your configuration files, the .tf files, it will be in a single directory, in a dedicated directory. So here we have all these .tf files within a single directory and this is considered as a Terraform module uh, and we call this as a root module whenever we run the commands directly in this directory. Now the Terraform modules encapsulates groups of resources dedicated to uh, one task reducing the amount of code we must develop for similar infrastructure components. So uh, let's say for example you have a requirement to uh, launch an EC2 instance and then launch a DB instance and then create an S3 bucket. Now instead of maintaining multiple codes that is you know writing the same code again and again and again we can write one common code all right and then we can start calling this code whenever we want to set up that infrastructure so modules are containers for multiple resources that are used together so let's say for example until now what we have been doing is whenever we want to set up that infrastructure we have been creating multiple tf files all right and then using that we are creating our resources so let's say for example you have a requirement that you want to launch an ec2 instance you want to create an s3 bucket and then you want to create an im user then we will write the respective configuration files for that so in the main.tf file we will have the logic the resource block which will create these resources for us then again after a few days let's say you get the same requirement telling that i want to create these resources for a different project so again we will end up writing a different set of tf files which will create the same resources for us and then again after a few days let's say we get the same requirement so instead of writing this uh, terraform code or the terraform configuration files again and again and again we can make use of your terraform modules that is we can write the code once and then we can start calling that code again and again depending on when you want to create that infrastructure so we will be maintaining a set of tf files within a single directory and we can call this as your module code 
and then whenever we want to set up that uh, infrastructure so let's say you want to uh, launch an ec2 instance create an s3 bucket create an im user we can make use this of the same code to create these resources so let's say again after a few days you get the requirement instead of writing the code once again we can make use of this module code this root module to create the resources based on our uh, requirement so we can make the necessary changes maybe let's say you want to give a different uh, tag you want to give a different s3 bucket name all those changes we can do and use the same configuration files to create the resources so this is basically what your terraform uh, modules is so once again terraform module is mainly used when you want to make your code reusable and this is something uh, that we very commonly do at an organization level so you'll always see uh, people making use of your terraform modules uh, uh, to to create your resources and then you know whenever we want to create that infrastructure or create the, create the resources we call those modules and we start creating that infrastructure instead of writing the code from the scratch uh, every time we have to create the resources so that's basically the introduction to terraform modules in the upcoming sessions we will be looking at an example for uh, this and we will be talking more on your terraform modules so that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video